would it be fair to say that it's it's be, might be also described as more of an emergent curriculum, something that comes from the students rather than a lack entirely? Yes, they they come up with what they want to learn. So yeah. we will have um, over seventy students, and there'll be seventy curricula if you like. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, they what we what we do in the first week is to ask them a series of questions to help them to formulate this. So we say, first of all, where have you been? What's been your past experience in your mm. life and in education? And a lot of them have had bad experiences. But we, we need to know this because anyone today is 100% result of the past. So if they're, for instance, resistant to doing things, you know, for instance, it's quite common for, for um, a nine-year-old to say, I'm no good at maths. Mm, right. uh, because they've been badly taught and they, they've, they've uh, perhaps missed the lessons and maths is hierarchical so if you miss a few lessons and you're not being helped to catch up then you don't catch up ever um, so so they will so we then want to question where, where they are in maths or art or anything music all of these things that, that they've been told by somebody that they're no good at and we have to mm. question that This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.